Howdy, insufferable gaming fans. Rosser here again. I just had to try another run of this. So soon? Sure, why not? Last time, we didn't make it very far, but hopefully I'll improve. Or just get really lucky with item drops. Either way, I'll take what victories I can get. Let's do this like Brutus. And if Brutus is unavailable, we will instead get it on like Donkey Kong. Or maybe I'll just miss a whole bunch and get the old runaround. We've got the cellar again instead of the basement. I think the game's trying to tell me that it hates me and it wants me to die, which is par for the course in this game. Not much happening yet. Shoot the fire, see if we can get some free items. Some free swag. Nothing. Item room, though. Also, I like exploding things. Why? Because I do. Alright, what do we got? Bloodlust. Okay, this means that our damage goes up the more enemies we kill in a room. So if we get a room with a lot of enemies, our damage will go up. Let's explore this uh, unexplored room over here, see if we can't get some extra bombs and keys out of it. Bombs and or keys. Yes, this is going well. Any room that you can walk out of without taking damage is a good room. And I almost took damage there anyway. See, that's got the damage up. It's taken it up three whole points. Whoops. No. Back. And that thing blew up and we found a secret room with a white heart which will turn into a permanent heart if I don't get hit and make it down to the next level. So I probably should have fought the boss first, then gotten that, to make sure it was still there. But maybe I can beat the boss without taking a hit. Uh, fat chance it's the Widow. I don't think I've ever fought this boss without taking a hit. And there it is now. So long, White Heart. You will be sorely missed. I am objectively terrible at fighting this particular boss. And actually most bosses. I mean, you guys all saw how I did with Gertie back there during the last episode. Or maybe you didn't. I have no idea. One good thing, our bloodlust is really ramping up. So, good there. Yeah! Not bad at all. What do we get? Extra hit point. This is going swimmingly. Still the cellar, though. This game's not going to toss me any breaks. There is not break one to be found. Kind of like my truck. Ha <laughs> ha! Going down the mountain in the winter is a nightmare. Gishes! Gishes get stitches. And I found a small rock. Or, one has appeared in the basement, which means it's unlocked. Which means I have a chance to find it. Alright, let's see what these pills do. Telepills. Took us to the shop. Ain't got no money. Ain't got no money! Wow, I haven't even found a single penny yet on this run. That's, um, kinda crappy. I wanna try to stay out of the spider webs. They slow you down. Somewhat. Now these things will just run around like chickens with their head cut off. Or. 
monsters with their heads cut off. Okay, here's where all the money went. I think it would be worth it to get this, what is this, six cents? Yep, a nickel and a penny. That was worth the bomb. Two cents, probably not so much. Hey, a mutant spider, that gives us quad shot. Sweet. It's like having the spread gun in Contra, except it doesn't shoot as quickly. So hopefully I will find something to take my rate of fire up. That would be super awesome, fun times. I think these heads and bodies each count as a separate enemy in terms of uh, getting my blood rage working. And here we've got Squishy Dog Food Bonehead Man. We'll check one more room. It might not quite be what you'd call OCD, but I do like to... Well... Net gain, I guess. Hooray for net gain! Alright, who we got? This guy again. This guy is going to just aggravate me to no end before it's all over with, isn't he? It would be awesome if I could hit him with the full brunt of these quad shots, which I seem to mostly be doing. Half the time he winds up killing himself. Not so much that time, though. There we go. Got him. And we get the 8-ball, tears up, and a free card, the chariot. That'll give us, like, a little invincible attack thing. Okay, what do we have here? We got a dead cat, which I believe gives us 9 lives, but we don't get to keep our hearts. And we have a pact, which gives us damage up, I want to say. Again, for now, and this is just me, I think I'd rather have the hit points. Because I can get off two or three shots in the time of the invincibility frames. Okay, catacombs. That's also a harder than regular area. Ah! They just plopped me right in there with very little recourse. And then I continue to get myself hit. Like a jackass. I want that key. I will use the bomb to get it. And a treasure chest full of super cash. I need to quit using this word super too much. I've been doing that too much lately. Mr. Boom. It's a free bomb with every charge. Well, we don't have anything else to use, so I'll hang on to that. Walking spider spewing blobs. Puffballs. Nubbins. Poop! Poop! I needed to get rid of that fly. This is a fortune telling machine. We put money in, and it can give us pointless advice, possibly trinkets, um, or spirit hearts. I will save my money and use it for a shop coming up, hopefully. I might have enough to buy something useful now. Dare I risk it? I dare. Okay, we got a ladder. That would be good. It works just like in Zelda. I need three cents more. There's a pretty good chance of getting money up there. But can I take the hits? I can afford a couple of hits. Red chest, full of a bomb. Thanks, game. And we've also found the secret room, which would be over here, but... Eh, what the hell. There's the money we needed. And I can bomb my way out with Mr. Boom. 
And then I can go back and get that ladder. Sweet. I love it when a plan comes together. Here we go. I'll take that. And grab the key while we're in here and have the cash for it. See, now I can just hop right across these little areas. Most of them, not all. Where will the adventure take us next? Ah! Of course, I get steamrolled by the pain train and his buddy Fly. I could hang out over this and avoid the hits. It could take forever to win like that, though. I lost a lot of health in this room. No es bueno. Wait a minute. Did I leave some hearts sitting around anywhere? I don't think that I did. Ah! Well, crap. That is all just crap. Take a drink. Let's, uh... Put another run in here. I feel like doing another one. Heck, we've got plenty of time after all. That didn't last long. Uh, you want to hit any of those bullets? My bullets are discooperative. We've got jumping jackasses. Well, at least they're not on fire. Because that would just be the pits. Hopping glowworms. By themselves, not very threatening. Maybe Pin is a giant one of those. Envy! The boss that just keeps on annoying me. Yeah, watch this crap. He splits. He stretches. He bounces. Until there are more of these on the screen than I would care to deal with at this time. Eventually there will be so many that I can't concentrate. When that happens, all hell breaks loose, by which I mean I lose a bunch of hearts. Come on. This shouldn't be difficult, and this time it wasn't. But there's also a Super Envy, which splits into three parts every time. Okay, this is a safety cap, and... A shoop de whoop which fires my laser. The safety cap has sort of a similar effect as the PhD that we got earlier, and that I believe it identifies pills, or maybe just makes them better. Hey, and we got the basement instead of the cellar for once, I just noticed that. Hey, here's a pill now. Let's see if our safety cap does in fact identify it. We'll give it a couple of seconds here. This is Ghost Baby. Ghost Baby shoots tears that travel through things. Okay, it does not appear that our pill's going to be identified, but let's just go ahead and use it. Hey, free attack flies. And a dime. See, things are looking up. I don't want to waste my one single key on the shop because there might not be anything good that I can afford. Hopefully we'll get the next one. Alright, Monstro. The guy that bounces around and barfs 
bullets all over the place. Not too difficult. Although I almost proved myself instantly wrong. I need to stop just standing right in front of him like that. That's a little that's a little better. Yeah, he gets that look in his eye like, yeah. I'm gonna barf red pellets all over the place, buddy. There we go. And a hit point again. So we're roughly where we were last time at this time. And Isaac sucks at dodge ball. Or maybe dodge rock. I'm not sure what that was. I didn't see clearly. We've got a blow upable rock though. Well, they're all kind of blow upable, but we've got a secret drop and rock. Y'all know how much I like secrets lies. There's that small rock we unlocked. That gives us extra damage. We'll head in here to the battle arena to get a free speed and range up. Sweet. All I gotta do is fight these monsters. See, now I feel like I'm moving to where I can dodge a little better. That extra speed really helps. Now, watch me eat those words in no time flat. Which is what almost always happens in this situation. Whoa. Dog food, be gone. I wash you away with tears. Wow, just look at the look on Isaac's face. I don't know what you call that look. But it's something. Yeah. We're zipping through now. And we get some free pills. What does this one do? Health down. That was a shitty pill. A bitter pill to swallow. How about this one? Telepills. That took us who knows where. Two rooms over. Oh yeah, whenever we use pills, every time we find pills of that color again during the run, they will do the same thing, so they will be identified. Nice, easy softball room. I like those. Alright. Now I've noticed that secret rooms are usually flanked by at least three other rooms, though not always, so let's look for one here. Good call. Good call with lots of money. See, now the shop is worth going to. But I only have one key. And I want to use it to go in here and get... X-ray vision. That will... Let us automatically go into secret rooms without bombs, and possibly see into adjacent rooms as well. Oh, and we can also go into top secret rooms, which are even more well hidden than normal. S uh, fortune telling machine? We'll pump a couple of pennies into that. To get... Cancer. A trinket which increases our fire rate. Excellent find. Much better than that safety cap, which was basically doing nothing for us. I love the ability to put more bullets out in a hurry. That's uh, that's an A, an A plus item right there. And then this guy will trade health for items and such. I kind of need my health. Let's just go fight the boss. Duke of Flies. How many times must you learn this lesson, Duke? Yeah, but this time, we got the rapid fire. So maybe it won't be quite so much of a case of getting overwhelmed by all the flies he spits out. That went much better than the last time. And the eight ball again. And an angel room. Oh yeah, tarot card. The Magician. I think that gives us homing tears for one room. And here we have the Bible, which lets us fly and kills one of the bosses later in one hit. Alright. I could use the ability to fly.
What else we got? We got these nubbins shooting stuff. Shooting bombs stuff. Oh, you know what? I should have let it blow up these rocks. Let's try out the Bible. Space. Yeah, now I can get those for free. Up in heads, and I can't fly now because it lasts for one room, and I'm getting my ass kicked. Bullets everywhere! Good lord, the bullets. That was a terrible room. What's this pill? Friends till the end. And we still have our homing cares card. I need that heart now. And I didn't bomb the rocks. Screw it. Bombing the rocks. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I'm going to have to formulate a strategy for this room in the future. Hooray. No money, no money. And a bombable rock. Sayonara, stone. There are just secret rooms everywhere lately. And we have a skull trinket. I'll stick with cancer, thanks. Sentences you don't expect to say in real life. Um, I'm going to explore the last couple of rooms there on the right. Maybe I can recharge this Bible and have flying powers for the boss. Or maybe I'll just shoot myself in the foot and take a lot of damage. That's looking increasingly likely. Ah, what the hell is hitting me? There was a spider left alive. Okay, we can bomb that gray rock, or we can bomb that treasure chest. I want the treasure chest because I'm hoping there's a bomb inside the treasure chest. There was not a bomb inside the treasure chest. What a rip. I need a bomb. I need a bomb. I need hearts. I need more money. Gimme. Gimme, gimme. Uh, I didn't mean to go through there at all. And it's just crawling with spiders. Just looking at this room makes the back of my neck itch. A fork. I don't know what that does. I still want this. And I want my free item. Bucket of lard. Hit points up, speed down. And it didn't even fill the hit points it gave us. Thanks, lard. We're still going faster, or moving faster, more quickly than we were when we started, though. Alright, what do we got? We've got a heart, which I need immediately. We've got Bum Friend, which will pick up any loose change in the room and drop items. I'll take that. On account of because, I need him to drop some hearts. I need everything to drop hearts. Why won't anything drop hearts? See, look, he'll fly over and he'll pick that up and not give us anything because it's only a penny. Sometimes it takes a few. Alright, boss time. Going in with two hearts to find the hollow. I think, yeah, these guys just kind of bounce around the room dickishly. There is no reason why I should take a hit on this, and yet, I've managed it. Because I'm very special. One down. I can deal with these guys. And we get... 
more hit points up. Dig it. That's just nasty. Caves 2. Alright. This is doable. Just gotta concentrate and try not to get myself in bad situations just like that. Concentrate. There we go. Oh yeah, bum friend. No, it's not a friend that you stick up your butt. I've already been very clear that your anus is not a storage area, and you should not use it as such. Let's see... don't feel like taking a hit to get in there. Spam man. Alright. I want the magical flying bum to take that money and give me items. And give me items. And give me items. What a bum. See, that guy will do the same thing. We don't have very much money, but it's not like I'm going to pick much up anymore. Ah, he gave us a ladder. For only four cents. That was a swell guy. Portable slot machine. We can use it to play the slot machine. And we got a key. Still don't have enough money to make that worthwhile. Probably never will. Rather stick with the Bible. In case I need to fly on gossamer wings. Why did I do that? I, I, I realized, as soon as I used that key, that it was pointless for me to use that key. And now I'm one key poorer. I just feel terrible about that. Blow up! Blow up! Yeah! Kill that guy with explosives! And that rock! And that rock! You can all explode! Spreadshot guys. Ah, shouldn't have taken that hit. Yeesh! I just walk into the room and I I only see it just a wave of enemies. There we go. Oh, now you drop something, and it's a trinket that I don't even want. What hit me there? Was there... Bullets? Oh, I walked right into that one. Can't concentrate too much freaking crap. Alright. There we go. Should've let the bum get that one. He can get all these. Now drop hearts. Drop them. A telepill. A tarot card. No, that's the card I had. Well, might as well see what all is left. And then use the telepills. What's this pill? Is this a friendly pill? Or is this an angry pill? Friendly pill. Don't shoot myself with a TNT. Key stratagem. Speaking of keys... Just a cavalcade of flies. That's useful. What else we got? Any more? My legless hovering amigo.
Top secret room. Want to find out what's in the top secret room. Friends till the end, pill, I'll take that. Matchstick. Or, yep, matchstick. I think that gives us extra bombs or something. Still want to stick with what we got. Because I do so much more damage this way. I beat the boss, then I use the telepills. Because we might teleport to a super secret secret room. And if we do that before we beat the boss, we can't have the free item from the boss. And this boss is Chubb, who works an awful lot like a Dodongo, but I don't really have that many bombs. And also, it takes out its own minions. So, bonus points for that. Olay! Oil of Olay. Is that product even still in existence? I have no idea. Hey, we got one of those white hearts, so... Extra score. And we unlock Spelunker. Which does everything that the X-Ray specs do except only half. So, it sucks. I'll take this. Now we'll use those telepills. See where we... That's not the telepills, that's a bomb. Took us to the shop, all the way on the other side of the world. A slight waste of time, to be sure. I can't feel too mad, though. This really is a situation of my own creation. Head on down to the next level. We're making much better progress this time. Here. Hey, we unlocked a character. Neat. And that, which is said character's starting item. This is a horrible situation for me to be in. Okay, crisis averted. What did we get this time? An odd mushroom. Fire rate up. Wow! This is awesome! This is the best fire rate I've had. It's like picking up a machine gun upgrade. I'll take this. Yoink! Whoa. Don't distend your neck at me, young man. Now go to your room and sit in the corner. And hit yourself. With the cat. Ah! Bad, bad spot. Bad spot! Aw. Well, I didn't really deserve to make it out of that unscathed anyway. Sometimes the problem with this ladder is, you get stuck in a spot that you didn't want to really be in. But there's a spot I really do want to be in. Secret room. Actually, by the sound of it, that was the top secret room. What do we got? Two of clubs. Doubles our bombs, doubles our fun. I'll wait till I have some more bombs before I use that. Telepills? Not really. To a club. Where's I want that other pill. What's this do? Bad gas. It's a fartastrophe. Got the money. Well, that taps out that side of the area. Yeah, turrets, just a firing away. Right. 
Um, that's exactly how I planned that. As far as you know. Don't get stuck in that corner. Things are grim. Grim indeed. This is just sad. I've got half a heart and nowhere to go. Two of diamonds. Uh, doubles our keys. Yes? No. Money. Doubles our money. Two of spades doubles our keys. I'm going in here. I'm hoping this will drop a heart. Really need a heart. Half a heart? Better than nothing? Key. A pill. More friends to the end pill. I'm going down here, because I don't want to fight that room full of zombies. Instead we get room full of guts. They roll around and follow the wall. Hmm. Dare I risk? If I beat these areas, I might get more hearts. It's a calculated risk. I need all the hearts I can get. Ver crap, 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 crap. I need to be more aware of my surroundings, I think. Much more aware of my surroundings. My spatial awareness is terrible. A brain without a jar is hardly a brain at all. It's a good thing I'm fast. I'd really be deader than hell right now. Hook, hoof trinket. Uh, increases speed. Ah! There's just nothing I have to say about that. Really, what can you say? A key, not a heart. The tower, what does that do? I think it drops a whole mess of bombs. Which I'm not overly interested in. Not like the kind of bombs you can pick up and use either, just the kind that blow up in your face. And that last room had a bunch of zombies in it, so screw it. Alright, Loki. Didn't I just deal with Loki a few days ago in a different game? Whoa. Damn you, spikes. That's the real problem here. Dangerous, dangerous spikes. Just wafting about and killing me. Well, that run went considerably better than the last one. That's a good place to stop. Until next time, this is your old pal Rosser. Take a drink.